Yo ho ho, Don Mafia. Welcome to yet another edition of the Don Mafia Report. And I know what a lot of you are thinking. You're probably like, Dan, why does it look like you just got back from the Yacht Club? Or Dan, are you planning on going out and picking up women with daddy issues? The answer to both of those questions is neither. The real reason I'm wearing this is for no reason at all. I just wanted to make that joke about the girls with the daddy issues. Don Mafia, you read the title correctly, yes. Today, I really wanted to dissect and look at the comparisons of our strength of schedule in 2020 to our strength of schedule in 2021. I sincerely believe that this is about to play a huge factor, and I might even need to go back and update my final record prediction from a couple of videos ago, because I failed to put that into perspective. Right before we get into that, I do want to remind everybody that I am giving away either a PS5 or an Xbox Series X to enter. It's super simple. All you need to do is be a subscriber to this YouTube channel and screenshot proof to me over on Instagram. As soon as you do that, you have a chance of winning a next-gen console and the winner will be announced on my Instagram on July 2nd, so make sure you answer before that. Second announcement is I ended up making a Discord server. It is absolutely amazing. And I've had two subscribers end up helping me out, sort of build it out and make it look frankly sexy as f It's a giant chat room. We talk all things Buffalo Bills, NFL, you name it. You don't need to be a Bills fan to join this server. I highly recommend it. It's a blast. And I'm also creating original content from Discord via our voice channels. So if you ever want to potentially be in one of those episodes, then I would recommend signing up for it right now. You can find that link in the pinned comment and in my description as well. So Dumb Mafia, when I look at this strength of schedule situation with the Buffalo Bills, I mean, I am legitimately licking my chops. Let's put it this way. In 2020, Buffalo Bills were tied for the fifth hardest schedule in the entire league. Now, this is great for a multitude of reasons. Number one, the whole, oh, the Bills can't beat good teams. We ended up going 13 and three with the fifth most difficult schedule in the entire NFL. So that is going to be put to bed. And the second reason that it's absolutely amazing is, is the fact that this year in 2021, we have the ninth easiest. So we have went from the gauntlet to essentially a cakewalk. I mean, I would probably consider top five to be a cakewalk as far as easiest schedules are concerned. But when you think about it, it does make sense. Because when I was going over our schedule and I was giving you my game by game prediction, I mean, I did only have us losing to three teams. And to be honest with you, I think that those are the only three teams that scare me. And that's exactly why that I had the Colts, the Buccaneers and the Chiefs beating us. Because frankly, those are the only teams that I think could realistically stack up against the Buffalo Bills. Everybody else, not afraid of whatsoever. I'm aware that the AFC East got better, but I mean, I still don't think that they're on the Bills caliber. And I look at every other team that we play, the Tennessee Titans ended up getting a lot worse. As far as the rest of the NFC South, I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned about the Falcons, the Panthers, the Saints, especially since we're playing on Thanksgiving, come on. So realistically, ladies and gentlemen, we could be looking at an even more impressive final record when it comes to the 2021 season. Thank you so much for tuning in to yet another edition of the Dow Mafia Report. This one was pretty short today uh, because there is frankly nothing going on. Tomorrow, I'm planning on making a lot of videos. Uh, I'm planning on doing a Madden video. Now, don't quote me. You might get a Madden video tomorrow. You might not. Um, I just need to make sure that I'm not absolute trash before I actually upload one of those out into the internet. Dom Mafia, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another edition of the Dom Mafia Report. And before I let you go, always remember, let's go Buffalo.